So the distribution score, basically, first of all, clues are giving us, hey, it's over in Creator Studio. So if you want to see your distribution score on your content, head on over to Creator Studio and you can see all of your distribution scores in greater detail over there. And we'll take a look at that again in a second here. The other hint is showing you how each post on your page is performing based on metrics that are important for reaching more people. The higher the score, the more your content organically appears within feeds across the platform. That's important. I mean, again, it goes back to the popularity contest. The more popular your content is, the more it's going to be circulated and shown across Facebook's platform. So let's take a look at breaking it down and showing you what that means. So we have the distribution score has two different segments to it. So photos, links, and text posts never used to get their own distribution score until this year and until only the last few months. So that's exciting and that's what's causing this resurgence of people inquiring what is the Facebook distribution score. It's been kicking around on video for quite some time. So let's look at that one. Let me see, where am I at? Video. So it's ranking the average of your last 100 videos compared to specific points in time. What does that mean? Essentially, if you publish a video Say you published a video five hours ago. Facebook is going to go and compare your last hundred videos at the five hours since posting mark. And it's going to rank on a bunch of metrics I'm gonna show you in a minute here on, well, of all those metrics, how well is this video performing compared to your last hundred videos at the five hour mark? So it has time decay to it. So as time advances, if I look at my video distribution score tomorrow, 24 hours later, it could be a completely different score because within 24 hours, is it still getting as much interaction and engagement and comments and reactions and one minute, one minute view times as my previous hundred videos? Yes or no. So it's basically taking a giant snapshot of your own content at that exact moment in time compared to your other video content also at that exact moment of time since publishing. So think about that and let's pull this one up. So what is it meant for on the video side? It's measuring your audience retention, your average minutes watched. Those one minute views are crucial. So how many one minute views you're actually getting on your videos. It's also measuring your reactions, comments, and shares. And that little bundle right there, this little, that little section, reactions, comments, and shares. Guess what that's called? Engagement. That's your engagement. So the engagement that you're getting on it. But engagement on videos also encompasses your actual audience retention. How long are people sticking around to watch the video before they bounce and head out? And average minutes watched across the board. So that's very important. But, so that's been around for a little while, the video distribution score. However, now, we are now seeing out on photo post, link post, and text posts. And it's calculated just a little bit different because obviously photos, links, and text don't have one minute views and they don't have audience retention. So we have to rely instead on engagement. So it's calculated using impressions of your previous posts of that matching content type. So impressions, what drives impressions? Engagement. Your comments, reactions, and shares. Comments, reactions, and shares are engagements. What drives impressions, and that's the number of times that post is shown over and over again, engagement drives impressions. So for example, I am one person, and if, I, if you reach me one time with your post, that's called one impression. If you reach me five times with that same post, that's five impressions. We've all had it where we're scrolling through our newsfeed and we see the same post that we've already seen before. Maybe somebody else has commented on it again and it pulls it further up and we see it a second time. Or when we're talking about ads, ads can have multiple, you can see the same ad over and over and you can get sick of it. So we gotta watch those impressions. Impressions can be a really good thing when it's organic and impressions can be a little bit of a tricky thing when it's in paid ads. But impressions are essentially what are driving your distribution score for any of your posts that are related to photos, links, and text. And what drives impressions? Engagements. So when we look at the measurements and behind that, here we go. So the key metrics that Facebook is scoring you on are impressions, reactions, comments, shares, and content clicks. And content clicks is a unique one. So we're gonna get a little specific here and that's why I have that little notation. So it's the number of clicks on links or photos within posts that led to a destination or experience on or off of Facebook. 
So keep that in mind, a content click. So people basically clicking and engaging on your content. So that is what goes in behind measuring your distribution score for photo, text, and link posts. So now let's take a little wander. Let's go in behind the scenes and take a look at some of these, shall we? Okay, so let me do a little screenshot.